offshore. Good evening to those who listen. It is October 9th, 2024, and it's about 8 p.m., maybe 8 or 1. And, of course, you know, everybody's talking about the hurricane. So my sister, uh, oh, there's the villages. That's where the villages are where uh, Paul Bagley and uh, Melvin Whittingham are. They usually do the the show getting ready but on Wednesdays, but I got a feeling they wouldn't be doing it tonight. But, uh, so my sister lives, well, I'm going to see it on here. My sister lives about 50 miles north of Tampa. And apparently it looks like the the, the main part, the eye, well, they said there is no eye no more, which is weird. But uh, the main part of the hurricane is going to be south of her. She'll get the outer bands. So she could get still up to 70 to 100 mile an hour gusts, but they're talking it's probably just be like 70 miles an hour. So she, I think she's pretty lucky. 98 tornado warnings, nine confirmed tornadoes. Wow. And most of those tornadoes were south. So that's crazy. So, you know, continue praying for the for these people over there in Florida. They're going through quite a bit of weather. And then there's another storm, Nadine, that's ha that might uh the path might go to Florida. It's like, geez, they can't get a break. Uh, crazy. So today I went to the urologist and, you know, she does, you know, with uh, mainly with, uh, you know, urinary tracts and stuff like that. But she managed to figure out what's wrong. So this is crazy, but believe it or not, she, she, uh, you know, I told her what was going on and everything. And she goes, well, let's do an x-ray. So they did some x-rays and they found out that I have... A large amount of backed up stool in my colon. What? How is that possible? I've cleaned myself out four times. But apparently, maybe that's what it is. Apparently, when uh, after I get cleaned out, it just backs up again. I do notice, like, when I, I go to the bathroom and do a bowel movement, which I've been doing once a day, it doesn't seem like I get very much out. So maybe it is backing up. So... You know, she told me to take some milk of magnesia and some prune juice and then be near a toilet. But, you know, that's still, it's only going to be a temporary fix. So either I, if I had to live with this, I would have to be like homebound and be taking laxatives all the time to make sure my, I'm always cleaned out. That's crazy. Or maybe they might have to do some kind of a surgery to fix the intestines or the, the colon even though they said the colon was perfect, which is weird. I don't know. This is very weird, but at least we're getting somewhere finally, I think. So I'm going to have to go back to the GI specialist, you know, let them know what's been going on again and show that, you know, show, they'll show the x-ray of, of me being backed up again, and then maybe they can figure it out. Maybe they might even do the endoscopy. Might as well get them both done at the same time. I'm hoping that's what they'll do. So I have to... Call the the GI specialist again. It's weird. My doctor said that they can't refer me back there again. I'm like, why, why not? I got to do it myself. It's weird. So hopefully it doesn't take long to get in there. But at least I know what I got to do now. I got to make sure that, you know, I'm not eating too much for one. Which I've been doing a good job on that. I don't, I'm not eating large portions no more. I'm eating a lot less. And then I got to make sure I drink a lot of water. And stay away from coffee, caffeine, you know. Uh, so, yeah. But at least I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere. Uh, so the next step, you know, just tell the doctor. And then and then call the other GI, call the GI specialist again. And tell them what's going on. And hopefully they can get me in fairly soon. Uh, but at least I know what to do now, so... Lots more, lots more water. So that's good news. And I got some really good news. I was really surprised when this happened. So um, I went to the dispensary to get some edibles. And my ex-wife 
and I get some for her. She needs, she gets the ones that have the CBD in there. Uh, I do too, but <clears throat> not as much of the CBD. Um, but there is some CBD in there too. But, uh, so I got that and I went to her house to drop it off. And my daughter, and my daughter wanted to ask me a question. Uh, my ex said, Megan wants to ask you a question. And she asked if she could go to church with me. And I was surprised. I was like, but yeah, very happy. And yes. So I'm going to pick her up uh, Sunday morning and take her to my church on Sunday. So I thought that was really good news. So uh, I, I don't know where she's hearing this from, uh, you know, how she came about to this. But she was like, I'm a Christian. <laughs> I don't think she knows exactly what that means. And But uh, maybe, you know, by going to church, she'll learn more. So I think that's a really good thing. So I was really happy and, and praise God for that. I think that is awesome. So, you know, I don't know if she'll like it or not. There's two separate things. You know, they got church for adults, and they also have for little kids. It's weird. They have it from zero to three and a half years, and then three and a half years to, I don't remember what the, the what the other one was. So I'm not sure if, you know, for, I'll take her to the adult one first, and then maybe if she wants, she can go to the, the youth one. But we, we can talk about that. You know, I'll, the youth pastor has been, filling in i mean for, he filled in for the the lead pastor two weeks ago and then the lead pastor was back this last week so but we can definitely talk to the youth pastor too but i just i'm just really happy about that um oh uh so the doctor told me tonight to take some milk and magnesia and six ounces of prune juice and she says be near the toilet so I already did it, and I was just waiting for that time. And I thought I just had a little urge there, but <laughs> oh, but anyway, praise God for that. Praise God that it seems like the the hurricane is not quite as powerful as they, as it was. So maybe uh, a lot of people might be spared, and a lot of houses and you know damage might be not as bad as what they were thinking. So that's good news too. But you know, it's just making landfall. It's just starting to make landfall. And uh, my sister, I just talked to her. She said it was like 17 minutes away about five minutes ago. So anytime. And her power went out, but then came right back on. So most likely she's probably going to lose power for a little while too. So say a prayer for all the people in Florida that they can escape at least most of the heavy damage from this. And, you know, and that they don't die in this in these storms too because it's still a dangerous storm no matter what it looks windy my sister says there's like 60 70 mile an hour winds right now and it shouldn't get much higher than that she's not going to get hit by the big main part of it but the outer bands so the northern outer bands is what she's getting hit by I'm starting to get some pains i think i might have to go all right love you guys God bless.